Hey everyone, Trevor Sigrich with Worldwide Golf Shops here. I'm joined by my fellow Worldwide Golf Shops member, David Marabella and Royce Thompson from the Callaway side. We're gonna be taking you through the new Callaway Apex line. We got the MB, the CB, we got the Pro, the UT, and we have the UW. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little test run on these clubs. We're gonna talk a little bit about them, some of the differences between each of them throughout the line, maybe some of the characteristics in each club that will benefit your game. Okay, so I think the very first place that we should start on this lineup is from the irons. We're not going to be aggressive going to the UTs and the UWs just yet. We'll get a little warm, but I think the pro is a good place to start. So Royce, on this this particular club, what are some things that people can expect? Uh, I think they can. They're going to expect more consistent spin, ball flight, distance. Um, we're not going to have face cup until you get into the longer irons. So okay. the three and five three to five irons will have a face cup, and then from there on down, um, you're gonna get that 1025 carbon, just a very soft feel in the face, um, and it'll be really consistent iron. So you won't get those flyers like you would have seen maybe, or maybe you hit one with the last model and you thought, oh, that came out a little hot. You won't get that anymore with these. Right, yeah, because I mean, it, it almost seems like you're gonna have a little bit more forgiveness across the entire face in something like this one. Yeah, which absolutely. Is, which is where you would see a lot of times, like when you're looking at forgiveness, for, for a caliber of player one, but number two, like for the better players, you want to see forgiveness in certain areas of your back. So this one might actually be a really good one for some. It literally sounds like a blade. Yeah, absolutely. The other thing that I really like looking down at it too, is with this being kind of the bigger of all the three, you're looking down and like for me, a better player is a lot of confidence. Like a good top line, not a ton of offset. And so it's just like, I, I set up and I feel like I can give this thing a go if I really wanted to. There's another good one. And the spin rates are exactly where I want it at, right at like a 70 or 6,700 for a seven iron. So I think it's your turn to take a couple rips, man. <laughs> Let's see if he can match some of my numbers. I don't think he will. Oh, 2,000 more. 2,000 <laughs> 2, more on spin rate right there. But ball speed's like just about the same. Was, it, was that a little healy? Yeah, I would say it was closer to the heel. Absolutely. Another, nice. Another good one right there. When you, when you see something that looks compact, you would almost associate like a sound with it and a feel. Right. That is the, that's the sense I get here that if the way it looks, it sounds like I'm anticipating it too, which is nice. Right. Not, not super clicky, none of that. With a shot like that, I could certainly play that all For day sure. long. Now, all right, Royce, you're up. No, <laughs> but you've had a chance to hit these, though. I have. I mean, what were your first impressions right out of the gates after taking a couple rips? Uh, just how soft they felt, um, and in particular, how they feel through the turf. So at impact, just the turf interaction between the sole and the ground, and just how, like sometimes you know how you can hit one and the toe might dig? Yeah. Well, with our new design on the, the sole, it just kind of, glides through and it's right. even, like your divot is even. There's not one side that's deeper than the other. I would say that I, gen I generally have like a steeper angle of attack and I still feel like I'm cutting right through the grass, not getting stuck on the exit. Like it seems like everything is moving through nice and smooth. There's like no clunkiness to it. No, you know? it's not just, at all. Right, right when it hits the bottom, it actually just maintains all the way through the entire strike. Which Absolutely. Is super, super nice, that's what you want to see. Is it CB time? I think it's CB, CB time, time. So we got CB. Apex CB, this is a seven iron again. Good ball. So seeing some straighter lines, maybe compared you know, to the pro, does, do you feel that that helps you with alignment? For me, for me, yeah. I, I, every single time, like if I'm working a shot, I love to look down and see lines. Yeah. And if it's kind of too disguised within the face, I can't, like, I can't do much with it. I need to see the lines on the club and I can see every single one. Yep. Which nice, is, straighter which is top line Straighter too. top line, yeah. everything. I will say, compared to the Pro, you're not missing out too much when it comes to forgiveness. Sure. Like, but the Pro is definitely more forgiving. Of course. Like that last one was a little cut. We saw the spin rates climb a little bit more. Saw, and it was a little off center, so I did see ball speed drop, as opposed to like kind of a similar shot that I, I saw on the Pro. But that just, that just speaks to the build of the club. Right, you absolutely. Know? All right, your turn. All right. <laughs> your turn. Much like you said, very little offset, nice thin top line, but straight lines too. For me, alignment 
is almost everything for my game. Just making sure that I feel as I'm looking down exactly where I want to be and not sometimes with a more round shape, I just kind of lose that. Yeah. So seeing, seeing a nice straight top line is, is huge for me. Now you've had a chance to, to sit there and chat with some of the tour level guys. Like throughout this lineup, what are some things that you guys are seeing? The consistent spin rates, players are really liking the way it looks. As a better player, you know, you have to, if you don't like the way it looks at a dress, you're not gonna play it, right? Um, and so when we're, when R&D got to like put it in the hands of tour players, that first shot they hit with it, it has to feel good and it has to sound good to them or else that tour player is just gonna hand it right back. And that's just not been the case. Ball speed actually went up for me a little bit. Carry is probably similar, and I would say that the first shot, the spin was maybe 8,100. Okay. So, kind of still right in that window. Um, I mean, I tend, I'll tend to find the heel more times than not. So, spin for me is always going to get on the higher side of things. Yeah. So he might be a CB guy right out of the gates. Yeah, I mean, he talked about how he likes the way it looks. That was a good. That was an even more of a ball speed jump on that one. Yeah. Now I think it's time that we roll into the MB. Now Royce, there were, after kind of chatting through some of this stuff earlier, what were, what were some of the things that, that were kind of like the feedback that kind of helped to develop this whole MB line? There's, well, I, I mean, you look at it, it looks way different than the last one. Right? It does, right? Um, this, this particular iron, I think, you just look at the set that Maverick's been playing on tour, a little longer blade length, um, a lot of feedback from him, but also other players a lot of better players, a lot of different companies make longer blade length blades, right. and that's because tour players prefer that. Yeah. So that's where you see that when you set that thing down, I mean, it just inspires confidence oh, that you're going to be able to hit it. It looks great. It really looks great. And I, I like let's set let's set these two like side by side, like that. That really doesn't look like there's much of a difference. Yeah. Right, and Blends and that really goes well. back to we want people to be able to mix and match these. So when you set them down, you shouldn't be able to tell too, too much of a difference between them. You spoke a little bit towards like the blended set or the combo set. Now, it, to me, it looks like the concept of this one is to build a lot of players into some of those combo sets. So I feel like we're gonna start seeing a little bit more of, hey, these, these blended sets kind of playing a little bit more into the Apex line. Right, and what our hope is with this line is when it gets out on tour, you're gonna see a lot of players play those short irons maybe to seven iron in MB, and then they move into those CBs, and then maybe like a four iron in the pro. Like, there's gonna be a lot of that going on. There's a good one. Yeah, it's nice. a good ball. That's one I like right there, that nice yeah, little cut. Ball. I like that. I like seeing that through the different heads, they're all launching in the same window. And obviously we have the same shaft in each club, but sometimes you might think that, you know, the pro iron is gonna have a little more juice behind it, so it might launch a little bit higher, but everything is actually coming out in a very consistent window. So to build that blended set, I mean, it's almost easier that way. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't seen a launch angle outside of like 15.5, 15.7 for me this entire set. Nice. So that, that does go, that speaks quite a bit towards this lineup. And that I, I would honestly, I'd feel comfortable with every single one of these in my bag. <laughs> right. Oh, there you go. Spin. That actually dropped his spin rate. Way down. <laughs> Way down. There you go. Little draw. The feel is great though. So I, I will say for like an MB, sometimes it's just so like, you feel it you feel it all the way up the shaft and into the grip and kind of that vibration right like this is such a soft feel yeah. i mean even even on ones that i might have hit the heel or the toe across the face it's a consistent feel i mean that's that's awesome is it time to jump into some of the longer ones yeah let's see what that maybe they... a little ut yeah last year's rendition of the ut versus this one i mean things look like they've totally transformed right what did they what they do to this so we're just again trying to make it look as much like the rest of the Apex lineup as possible, right? Right. So it's got the same sole design as the other ones, it's got the same mim in the back. Um, but like the longer irons in the Apex Pro, it's got that face cup technology okay. that we introduced with Paradigm. So you're gonna get that same, but also you're gonna get that soft feel that you were getting hitting the rest of the lineup. Right. 
Oh, that thing launches. That launches all right. And that keeps a keeps a spin rate at a really good spot too. And like I a lot of times I don't mind having hosel offset too. Right. So looking at this one, it's kind of like I feel like I can really work this ball here if I really wanted to. It feels like even on slightly off center strikes, it's still maintaining every bit of what I want. A little bit better. Ball speed didn't even venture, even in the slightest. So across all of your shots? Across every very... single shot, every single one that was, even the, the ones that I didn't hit very well, it just, it's like it lost nothing. That's awesome. Which is, which is absolutely everything that you want to see in, in a utility type. That's some good height out of that one. Let's see if I can get him. I mean, little... I know you're more of a hybrid guy, but I think this one has you intrigued. I feel like on this one too, with that, it's a forged construction. So you can, you can get away with giving it a little bit of bend. Yeah. You can go a, a couple degrees, maybe a little bit stronger or something like that. And if you do on, on that kind of head, you will add some of that hollow back in for some of those players that do like to see that. Right. Or you could go in the opposite direction and just make it a complete butter knife. Make, make, make nothing to it. 15, 16 degrees. Yeah, exactly. That was a, you ripped that's that perfect. one. That's perfect. good. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. That was some ball speed. Yeah, a little I more ball speed me. there. You got me on ball speed on that one. <laughs> so I, I think it's time that we jump into the last one of the mix here, the little Apex UW. Take us, take us through this one. I mean, obviously you had a similar, similar rendition in previous lines, but what are some of the enhancements that you have here? Yeah, so this is really a unicorn, right? It's the best of both worlds between a hybrid and a fairway wood. Um, but we've just incorporated the Paradigm technology in it. So what you're gonna see is some bat wing, um, right here to make it more stable. Uh, the face, we're using the same thing. So right. it, it's just gonna be, a, it's just a little bit better than the one we made before. Right, okay. I mean, look, first first impression looking down, it looks like, it looks like, a, you know, it's very playable too. Like it's not, it's not like kind of overly, overly clunky. I mean, you have really good lines. Like we talked about earlier, I like the separation. Like you have a black crown to a white, like a like, like a silver face. Yep. So I could see those lines. Those ones always help me out. Does it look more hybrid or more fairway? It wood? looks. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> or the perfect it's like, blend. It's like a perfect <laughs> blend. It's there's like no in between right now. Oh yeah. That I jumps. might be a UW kind of guy. That jumps. That was perfect. That yeah. Move. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow. What do your numbers look like on I that? I mean, that one right there, ball speed of about 149, carry, carry 230 with the spin rate a, a little bit higher than that, what I would like to see, but sure. like, I don't think you can argue with that. Yeah, could be a shaft thing. And it could, it. yeah, yep. it's kind of just going through what we talked about is that fitting process, but that was, that one shocked me. I might actually be a hybrid kind of guy. <laughs> so there's off center. So let's see what that does. While the spin rate did climb on an off-center shot, that was more ball speed. The sound was great though. So the sound was, the sound's really good. Like for the speed to actually go up on something like that is, is pretty remarkable. That one was ripped. That's the one, that's the one. All right, so that rounds out the Apex test run. Give me some of your thoughts, kind of right out of the gates. Yeah, I thought, Feel and sound were super consistent across the entire line. I think that's something that you would expect to change as you get a little more tech into the irons, but after feeling it, you know, through the turf, turf interaction was great. Um, it, it makes having like almost all three of those irons in your set very possible and you would see the benefits of all of them. Right. And I think for you on your end, I mean, you've had a chance to kind of really take a deep dive into this. Is there anything that you think as kind of a result of all this that you would kind of encourage some of the consumers? Yeah, I would tell them to hit them all um, and just figure out what combo set and it's going to be the best for you. I mean, the, right. the possibilities are endless. Right. Absolutely. Right. So that kind of goes to say, make sure you guys visit a Worldwide Golf Shop's retail location near you to get custom fit for the new Apex Irons.